Hi together. I'm happy to present you today our work with the title How do variations in cochlear implant map settings alter the spectral representation of signal dynamics? A simulation study. This was an example on how not adequately aided hearing loss might sound. Let's have a look on hearing loss worldwide. Around 1.5 billion people worldwide are affected by hearing loss, of which an estimated 1.5 million in Germany alone have such a severe hearing loss that a cochlear implant is indicated. In total, more than 736,000 cochlear implants have been implanted worldwide. And in Germany alone, there are around 5,000 new CI users every year. Cochlear implants are revolutionary devices that provide a sense of sound to individuals who are profoundly deaf or severely hard of hearing. Unlike hearing aids that amplify sound, cochlear implants bypass damaged portions of the ear and directly stimulate the auditory nerve, allowing individuals to perceive sound. After the surgical implantation of the cochlear implant, the device needs to be carefully fitted and programmed to match the individual auditory needs of the patient. This process, known as fitting or mapping, involves adjusting various settings to ensure the best possible hearing outcomes. I want to demonstrate you the effect of different CI map settings exemplarily on two different vocoded CI maps from this study. Both maps differ only in the sea level set. This is the first map. While this is the second map. You might have recognized the well-known fairy tale The North Wind and the Sun. Once upon a time the North Wind and the Sun had an argument. Each thought he was stronger than the other. There's only one thing for it, said the North Wind. We'll have to put our strength to the test. We'll have a competition. Obviously, this robotic sound from the vocoder is not exactly what CI patients perceive. But it should have become clear that we can support hearing with a cochlear implant by setting an appropriate map. However, the cochlear implant fitting process itself can be quite challenging and time consuming. It requires multiple visits to the audiologist, during which detailed adjustments are made based on the patient feedback and auditory tests. This process can be exhausting for patients, particularly children and elderly individuals. Hence, clinicians need to balance precision with patient comfort and efficiency. The fitting is not only a highly individual process, as each person's auditory system and perceptions are unique, but also the resulting CI maps, even for patients with similar residual hearing, can be highly different. Given the complexity and the importance of the CI fitting process, our study aims to explore how variations and CI map settings impact spectral representation and signal dynamics. By understanding these effects, we hope to contribute to the development of more efficient fitting methods that can provide better outcomes for CI users. This study was a first proof of concept study. So we used the recording of a structured phonemes as an input to a MATLAB vocoder to simulate different CI maps that showed variations in T and C levels, as well as in the IDR. To get an impression on the phonemes, the waveform of the text signal is uh, shown above. 
Sea level variation in Pantanal maps increased only the energy in the subsequent frequency bands, but uh, obviously not affecting the frequency composition itself. Additionally, it was found that a difference in T and C levels of only 50 CU wasn't sufficient for encoding of the input signal at all. This becomes already clear from the waveform of the vocoded signal. We additionally investigated ascending descending sea levels, where the average sea level across the map was held constantly to 250 CU. Here, significantly changes in spectral representation as well as in the signal dynamics were found. These findings were supported by the subjective impression on listening to the vocoded signals, where some of the investigated settings significantly enhanced understanding. The same was observed for source sink shaped sea levels. When listening to the vocoded signals, it becomes clear that some settings enhance the energy in critical bands for speech intelligibility, which is in accordance to our clinical practice in CI fitting. The IDR, however, has not shown any effect on the output, at least for the vocoded signal. So, how the IDR affects the real output in clinical sound processes needs to be investigated systematically in a future study. This brings us already to the limitations of this work. To summarize, we found that small changes in a CI map can have significant effects on the spectral representation and the signal dynamics, which affects directly speech intelligibility within cochlear implant. Our findings will hopefully help to improve patient outcomes and enhance fitting efficiency. Although simulations provide valuable insights, the biggest limitation will probably be that although the core of the vocoder used here was provided by the manufacturer Advanced Bionics, it, simu it only simulates the system behavior and most likely does not exactly replicate the algorithms used in clinical speech processes. For detailed analysis, clinical speech processes should therefore be examined directly. Future works will thus focus on a validation with clinical data, the systematic exploration of other CI settings that might be unexpectedly beneficial for CI fitting, and developing a framework that assists with CI fitting. Any questions so far? Feel free to come back to us at any time via the following email address. Thank you.